Okay, hey, so welcome back. The, uh, the other day I was doing some beekeeping at my house and my neighbor comes running across the street. He's like, hey, Chris, my son, he's got bees in the side of his house. So can you give him a call? So I said, sure, why not? So I called him and here's Dean, Hi, my man. neighbor's son. So we, I came down and had a look at the, uh, had a look at where the bees were and I called Dean up this morning and he came and pulled the siding out and the, uh, the wood and then it's a small hive. So this will be my first extraction from a building. Um, basically I'm just going to cut the comb off, put it into my, uh, hive right here with the rubber bands and Dean's going to film us. So this shouldn't take me very long, maybe 20 minutes, half hour at the most. All right. So stick with us and, uh, here we go. All right. Wait, no, let me pause it for a second. Okay. smoke right now. You can pause it if you want. I just... All right, girls, don't get mad at me. I'm just trying to give you a better home. Well, they got some, they got some pollen in there. There's some nectar. What I'm really looking for is brood in the queen, which she's probably more in the center. Mm -hmm. So, all right, well, I'm gonna put this in this frame. Hopefully it'll work. Put them down here in the grass. They're not gonna like that. That one, that'll work right there. You can pause it for a second. Here. I did see you. Oh, there you are. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Win the jar. Did I get her? Yep, I got her. I got her. She's in the jar. Come here. You want to come closer? You can see her. See her in there? Oh, wow. Yeah. See how big she is? Yeah. That's the one I wanted. That's what I need. No kid. Okay, so now what I need to do is, where's she at? I want to make sure I get cover this up without her getting out. Oh, she got out. She's out. Come on, we got. There she is. I lost her for a second now. Okay. No, no, no! Don't get out! Don't get out! Get out! Stay in. Okay, I got her in there. Come here. See her? She's in there. Okay, I got my queen in there. That's the big, that's the big deal. <laughs> so, let me set her aside. And now it's just a matter of getting all these other bees out. Okay, so stick with us. Okay, hey folks, how you doing? So, uh, we got most of the bees out. I did have to vacuum some. Um, Dean knows Dean knows that he's going to keep an eye on them, but he's going to keep this area open. Um, they were all clustered up in here. You can see some of the uh, wax used to be here. I pulled it out. So the few bees that are coming back that you see flying around yet are just, uh, they're the ones that were out scouting around or getting the pollen. So, but I got the queen. I got the, uh, I got most of the brood out. So this is in pretty good shape. There's a few, like I said, there's a few here and there that are flying around, but I can't really do anything about that. All right. Well, hey. Thanks for watching. This was a real adventure. Um, I learned some things that I need to do for next time. And um, yeah, so I got my bees in here. And then I got a bunch of bees in there and I got the queen in there as well. So, all right. Have a great day. All right. Hey, hey everybody. Good morning. So it's uh, been a little bit, about 20 hours or so since I did the trap out or I did the, I pulled the hive out of that other uh, house that you just saw a second ago. So, um, I've learned a few things. One, I'm going to need that, that clip that you use to, to capture um, queens with, and the queen clip. And I, I didn't have one, um, and I used a jar. Now, I was successful in getting the queen to go into the hive that I have here that I'm going to show you. Um, but the way the bees came out of the house, I wanted them to swarm around, or it didn't quite work the way, the way I was expecting. So I used my vacuum cleaner, but my vacuum cleaner was a little too powerful, and it kind of damaged some bees. So I didn't get as many as I wanted. I need to do an ad... Uh, to do an adaptation to my um, vacuum or I need to do some kind of a, a bee vac. So that was a little bit, that was the big lesson learned. I didn't get many, as many bees because unfortunately some of them died when I used my regular vac. Um, so I got, we're going to take a quick look here in my frames. Um, I did enjoy myself yesterday. It was fun. 
so I do have some some of their comb here on that one, uh, but they're not working that brood comb right there. Um, and I'm hoping that these guys make it through the summer. I'm I, I am and into the next winter. If I can get them to grow big enough, they do have a queen. Um, you can see here they're working this is the, a big chunk of brood comb that I was able to save. There is some pollen on it, pollen on it. So they're doing okay there. Um, I didn't have a nuke box, I would have used that, but I only had a, a medium, a medium box with a uh, with these uh, smaller frames for them to work with. I would have preferred a nuke box, but again, I didn't have a full complete one. I'll have to get one at some point for future ones. There's a bee on my thumb there. Sorry, sweetie, get off. There's another one. Again, they're working it. They're working it. Um, eventually, they'll chew through these rubber bands. I'm hoping they get the uh, they get the wax to attach. So, one more. I'm trying to look for the queen. I don't see her. I saw her yesterday when I checked it when I first came back. Um, these bees don't seem very frisky. Again, this is a uh, this is a swarm a swarm hive. So, I'm not seeing any on this. This one. I'm gonna look again on the other one to see if I can find her again. She should be on. I know I did see her yesterday. Where are you at, sweetheart? I know you're here. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.